Hello everyone, welcome to the Clean Culture, I don't even know what they're calling it these days, but the Clean Culture event here at the South Florida Fairgrounds. This is awesome, I'm David at FLF, and uh, let's check out the show. They got the two-step competition going over there, they got drifting happening over there. Uh, I'm like three hours late to the show, so let's check out what's going on. Alright, so we start off with this very, very nice RB swapped S15. Look at this. I believe this is an RB26, maybe a 25, I'm not sure, I think it's 26. Precision turbo, look at a huge air filter. No way, LM GT4 wheels. This is a $4,000 set of wheels. Check it out, oh yeah. Look at that, this is a very, very clean S15. Look at this! You melted your diffuser! Although I think it's probably long been melted. Jeez! Melted diffuser. So there are all kinds of cool Mustangs here. Could be a Chrysler 300. Purple X5. Or an X3. Look at that. Check this out. There's a whole inside area of the convention center being used. So let's go a quick fire stop around here. We got a beautiful ultraviolet. It seems that like this is color is ultraviolet. I think RWB 911. Very, very clean. Look at this thing. Huge fender arches. Oh man, I think I think it's got a sequential. Yeah, look at that. We're all kinds of nifty stuff. What else we got out here? All right, all right. It's like a, got an R34? Is that an R34 GTR? No way. So, hmm, I don't think this is Midnight Purple. It looks very similar. You know what it might be? I'm not sure. I know Midnight Purple kind of has like a copper color to it, so I'm not 100% sure. It's very, very clean, like the, uh, the Volk wheels, the T37s. Very nice, and this is built by RAV Performance. Look at that. What else we got? What else we got? Ooh, GTR. I guess this must be like their little little section, RAV Performance. Got all kinds of Nissans and all kinds of cool stuff here. With the GTR. So many people. <laughs> Can hardly get around the show. Look at that stuff. All right, tell you what. Tell you guys what. Let's go check out some more cars around this little inside area because you know outside it's kind of hot. So let's check out some more cars around here and then we'll head back outside and we'll take a look at some of the drifting, see the two-step competition, if that's still going on. Let's go check it out. Look at the Supra. So it's not wide body, which I actually kind of like. The wide body Supra, I think it's kind of old after a while, but I really like what's going on here. Looks like they got the intake, some carbon fiber bits, aluminum uh, caps. I love the paint job. I think this, this might be like a, what's the word I'm thinking of? I think it's a wrap. I think it's, you know what it reminds me of Miami Blue. This might be a Miami Blue wrap, which really, really pops on this car. Look at that. Check out the interior. Mostly standard super stuff. And a carbon fiber wing, I like that. So we're back outside 
it's all of the unburnt fuel that's just in the air from two steps and, and drifting and all that, all that unburnt fuel is actually making my eyes water. It's kind of, it's a little annoying actually. Alright, so there's a car that's been doing a continuous burnout or rev or something for the last few minutes. So let's head over there and see if he does like, what's he going to do? Is he going to blow his motor? Like what's going on? Is he trying to blow his motor? Oh jeez, you can hear it. Man, there's so many people here. Let's see if we can find a way to this car. Excuse me guys. $125. Only $125. Oh, he's, he, oh, okay. I guess that's that's why. But dude, still. Bro, you win in my book. Yo. That shit, man. That's it. I know, I know. Yeah, right. You win in my book. No, why I'm are you? To it off, so it doesn't hurt nobody, man. Huh? You might as well just leave it on. What's what's gonna do? Break further? but it's also very, very bad for your motor to do sustained two-stepping like that. I'll explain why. So, when you're two-stepping, what you're really doing is retarding the timing so after top dead center and adding fuel such that you can increase the, uh, the pressure in the manifold because you're, the, the fuel will still be burning when, when the exhaust valve opens, which causes the nice, cool flame to spit out the exhaust. Um, the downside of this is that it causes the EGT, or the exhaust gas temperature, to get really, really, really hot. Because it's not burning in the cylinder completely, it's burning in the, partially in the manifold. Um, so the result of this is that because the EGT is getting very, very hot, the turbo, the turbine wheel, and your exhaust valves are also getting really, really hot. Because it's got literal fire spitting past it, not burnt fuel. So the result of all this is that if you continue to two-step like that and for such a ex long extended period of time, you're going to burn, literally burn the metal itself of the exhaust valves and of your turbine wheel, rendering them useless, possibly blowing the motor. So while it's fun and all, it's, you're, you're kind of risking like a lot to do that. Uh, it's really intended to be done just for like a few seconds to build boost while you're getting ready to launch the car off the line. But to sit there and two-step over and over and over again is very damaging to the motor. Uh, so, I guess it's good for the engine builders and the people that sell engines. Alright, what do we got? car has a lot done to it. Um, let's see, uh, it's a stage 4 block, IAG, it's running 800 horsepower. EJ25 or FA20? EJ25 step. Long block. Okay. Uh, forged internal GSC trends. Um, everything's done. It's in turbo. She's awesome. She's great. This one has everything rebuilt transmission, uh, forged uh, rims. Let's see, what else? Uh, Nasket, 100 shot. Got a lot. A lot done. Uh, I see that. Is here. I got uh, flex ah. fuel. There's a flex fuel kit. Uh, E85, kit. okay. ETS. E85. Very nice, very nice. How much horsepower? Huh? Hold on, how much horsepower? 850 horsepower. 950 to the crank? There you go, there you go. Number six of 10 mils. Let me get your number. Let's do a, let's do a video for YouTube. 
<laughs> All right, so I made my way over to the drifting paddock. This is where the cars are parked. This is where they're serviced uh, in between drift sessions and all that. And they have the taxi garage guys. They're all doing their own little drift session in the paddock. Look at that. Oh, that's hilarious. Those are um, the Razor Crazy Carts. They take them and modify them with bigger motors and they adapt them for larger people sometimes. And they take them and bring them up and go drifting. It's pretty fun. Uh, but we got a nice little lineup of drift cars. And what's cool is that these cars actually perform and do fun stuff. So look at that, old, old Nissan, I think it's a Cedric, I think. Uh, got a turbo FRS. Yeah, there we go, another FRS. Or BRZ, it's a Burrs. You can tell if it's a Subaru badge. Tire guys out here. We got uh, Adam LZ in those tents over there. And our boys at Brake Bank, one of our uh, very good customers, they're right down that way. Well, then look at this toy. Holy crap. This is a C4 Corvette, but it's got like a JDM kind of a body style to it. I've seen this before, but I believe the guy was in Sweden. So I'm not, I don't think this is the same kit. I think it's kind of its own thing. Uh, it almost looks like it's got like like a S13, S14 kind of front end grafted onto it. Not really sure what's going on there, but it's really cool. Wide body kit. The paint is obscene. I love this paint. Check out this wing. Look at this wing. How could you not? You got the quad tip exhaust. Classic C4 Corvette rear end. This is beautiful. Look at the dish on those wheels. Oh, those are the... So I believe this style is called the salad shooter. So these are three-piece wheels made out of the original factory Corvette wheels. Let's take a look at the interior. Uh, it's a little difficult to see. I didn't bring my flashlight today, but I do see the tip of the hydraulic handbrake. So that's pretty cool. This is really, really nice. And uh, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get with this guy. Let's see if we can do a video and see what's going on here. Ah, yes. So here we have the lovely C5 Corvette. You know, with the LS engine, the pop-up headlights, you know, the, the beautiful coupe styling. Gotta love the C5 Corvette, right guys? All right, so it's like about 8.15 right now. The two-step competition, like, I, I, I think it ended a while ago. I think people are just two-stepping on their own. Uh, but let's go check out some of the drifting. guys I'd say I'm uh, I'm pretty good I'm good to go all right we've seen the drifting we've seen the cars we've seen the two-step I'm pretty tired I got a hell of a drive home so thank you guys for watching uh, be sure to check out finishlinefactory.com like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later see ya